While giving thanks is the central emphasis of Turkey Day, unfortunately it does not fully get rid of family grudges. What are family grudges? We know what family grudges are. Most of us do who have families, uh, what they are. You have two relatives or more who had a row a number of years ago, um, sometimes even decades ago, and since then they don't like to talk to each other. They generally like to be snippy, short, and otherwise impolite to each other. And Thanksgiving is no exception to whatever venom they want to toss at each other. It's good for you to keep this in mind and how you're going to manage the situation. Um, I've seen a number of ways it's handled. And every single time, it's been a definite benefit versus the stress that those uh, various conflicts will bring to the Thanksgiving table if they're not properly dealt with. Um, the first way is the easiest. Trying to help those relatives or friends avoid each other. Keep them far apart. Try to avoid um, leaving them in situations where they're basically kind of given free reign to basically <laughs> lash into each other. You want to avoid that, you know. Don't barriers, all shields up. Another thing you consider doing, and this is more extreme, but sometimes unfortunately necessary, is considering not inviting one of them. Um, you, I've even seen some families where they rotate off, where, you know, Aunt Brunhilda and uh, Cousin uh, Gildestern just do not get along. They cannot both be in the same room, so don't try and force it. So then every other Thanksgiving, you know, they basically, one of them will be invited, will basically rotate. It's sad, but sometimes necessary, because you don't want them to ruin Thanksgiving, and it will indeed lower the stress levels by acknowledging family grudges.